Hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, Zab. <clears throat> Congrats, Evil Bud. 62% chance of winning a fry, and you did. So, the code is working. The code is working. A 62% chance of being awesome. Of being awesome, and you are. I see a problem already with the game. It is not at the right resolution. <clears throat> hey, Scorpio. Two curses. You are too late. <laughs> there you go. 69%. Uh, yep. Yeah, it is better than 62%. That nice. is correct. With math, that is correct. No other reason. <clears throat> well, hope y'all have had a good week so far. Mine's been really busy. It seems like a year. It seems like I've had a whole week of work in two days. Um, I mean, it, it, it's always tough when you have a Monday off because I feel like all the stuff, all the work and all the, the meetings that I have just move for the last day. Yeah, math is hard. Let's go shopping. Come on, Doc Frost. Are you Barbie or what? I'm surprised they didn't do a math is hard joke in the movie Barbie. I was waiting for it and it did not happen. <laughs> they probably didn't want to because that was a big, that was controversial. They, but they could have addressed that controversy. It was crazy. You have tomorrow off. That's good, Zab. Um, yeah, I wish I had tomorrow off. I wish I had a month off. That would be nice. <laughs> but alas I, I don't so I'm working um let's see what else is going on I guess that's really it he wished for a lot of things well there you go I so, so do I like uh why can't everyone be born uh independently wealthy or like Star Trek Star Trek you know you just kind of uh you just there's no sense there's no such thing as money you just do what you want to do which, you know, it doesn't really make much sense. There's a, someone's asking questions like, so like Benjamin Sisko's father owns a restaurant in New Orleans. Do people just go in, I'll have that. And he gives it to them and they eat it and they leave. Like what, what, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Anyway, um, Jedi, uh, um, survivor. Now, if you, like if if Justin is out there, you should leave or mute or whatever because there's a lot of spoilers ahead. Uh, there was a, I, I guess I can do it non spoilery. There was you were I, we were betrayed last game, uh, and I, I after playing um, what was it the last story? I kind of saw it coming actually. The last story has made me jaded towards best friends and games. Um, anyway, uh, we were betrayed. And hey, Dark Passenger. <laughs> and um, and so we will, uh, yeah, hunt down that traitor, I guess, in this in this uh, in this stream. I am curious to see where the story is going. So, and you know, I think I mentioned it too. Uh, there's a lot, often, you know, they were all happy at the end. We killed the final boss, and they were, they were sitting around a campfire drinking tea or whatever, and then. And you're thinking, oh, everyone's happy. And then, ah, then uh, everything falls apart. That's very much a plot device and common in stories. Hey, pass. Um, as always, we can take a break from uh, Star Wars Survivor, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and play a game like... I have no idea what that game is. Oh, here comes Frost Swords. It does not have to be cross swords. It's not. It's not the title of a, a gay porn video. It is a video game, but it does not have to be cross swords. It can be any of the games on this arcade list right there. And if I beat the high score, I'll put your name on the high score list. You hit a hundred thousand channel tokens. Only fifty k to more to go. All right. You know what game you're gonna put on the wheel of, uh, morale, uh, wheel of uh, games. So we're currently not playing as Cal. We're playing as Seer. And I don't know why. 
You have many ideas, but nothing solidified. Okay. That's cool. So so right now we're Seer. And we don't know what's actually happened to Cal. I know a shortcut. Stand back. We have to hold the hangar until evacuations are complete. So the Empire uh, is attacking the Why base, the base right now. Active. Hey, Tex. Something's wrong. There was an 80s theme to the arcade redeem on the Hold on. Right the uh, there was an 80s theme to the arcade redeem option. Don't know what you mean. <laughs> Sorry. There was? When? Of connect the dots. Uh, extremely buggy. Yeah. Actually, th this game has not been very... I mean, has had a lot of bugs in it. Nothing major. Ah, oh, fuck. Have you seen Cal? No. Oh, the poor guy's head. Like Look that. at that. <laughs> Look at his head. Oh, I'm probably missing something. Look, walkers. Where? Cannot reach the main gate. Oh no. All right. Well, where do we go? Can't. I guess we jump down here. Go where you want to go. Go what you want to get. Do what you want to do. You know, if you put sniffing word she worksheets yeah. into a GIF search, there's only one thing that should come up. <laughs> yeah. And that's the scene of the worksheets being passed out in Fast Times at Ridgemont, Ridgemont High, High, where they all sniff the worksheets. NG plus playthrough of this game. What's NG plus playthrough? What does that mean? No. New game plus? Oh, I see. When you finish this game, it gives you a new game plus. Got it. I am a stone cold killer. I like, you know, I I like pushing people off edges and pulling them towards me. I don't, you know, I don't sugarcoat things as a Jedi. Fly. We have to stop the walkers. All right. I don't know how we're gonna do that. No thermal detonators. Uh, I guess we're going down. Or we're not. What if we... What if we, like, jump on them from over here? Oh, man. We can't make that. Maybe we go up. Oh no. Oh no. I get it. We must destroy the walkers. How do you want to do that?
I know it can be done. Can it? Oh, well, I did. <laughs> this destroyed one of them. You got his attention. There's more munitions on the second level. Good. Okay. Don't need them. Second level. Gotta say this. Let me let me meditate while uh in the middle of battle. But in the middle of battle. <laughs> yes. Looks like he's getting off on it. Any day now. Beep boop. Oh. I was waiting for the elevator. You're sore from the gym again? Well, good for you. I thought you were pass. Many more will die if we do not secure the hangar. <laughs> All right, the base antechamber. He would want us to salvage what we can. And the contact comes. We will not fall into the Empire's hands, <laughs> no matter the price. Going this way. dead we are dead this <laughs> this is, is hell. hell what now down to the hangar down to the hangar where do we go how do we get down to the hangar where are we going oh the door open I'm looking. There's a lot of meditate places. <laughs> I mean, I haven't gotten hit yet. Oh, I got hit a little bit. That's fine. I don't need it. Well done. Here we you go. too. Breeze, do you hear me? Oh, Tex, what, what game would you like me to play? Stay in the mansion until we secure the hangar. Copy that. Good luck. Secure out. the hangar. Reach the gate. Oh, a Push big explosion. 
I am carving up these stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cotton Two. All right. It's it's a sequel to Cotton One. <laughs> hey, Murray. Good. Uh, good morning. Do we need to get on the Mantis? Where are we going? Oh, there's more. Fear is a pretty powerful uh, Jedi. <laughs> I love it. I love that she picking up that shield and slinging it at him. That was nice, I killed two of them. Ah, Walker! Who does this thing at? Like oh, kill the, kill the, the and come out. They're coming. Oh, this is it. One. They're here. I can hold them back. We will destroy the hangar. And we must, no! There you go. Oh boy, am I happy to see the two of you. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Any word from Cal? No, nothing. I'm sure he's fine. He probably just turned off his comm. Sir, <laughs> what now? We'll escape before their main force arrives. Then we'll regroup at the rendezvous. First, I need to get back to the archive. The hidden path contact codes. I will join you. No. Marin, I need you to stay here and defend the Mantis. BD, go with her. Keep the engines warm, Grease. It won't be long. Hey, Seer. You hurry back. You got this. Thank you, Grease. Let's, <laughs> if I remember right, it's this way. Look at this. I hope Cal is okay, but we must hurry. There is still time to evacuate the remaining Anchorites and save as much of the archive as we can. All right. All right. X PNC wants me to play Cotton 2 in Arcade Mode. <laughs> For once, it wasn't that far away. All right. This is only for use in Japan, by the way. So we're going <gasps> to pretend we're in Japan. Uh, yeah, I saw. That's awesome. Lower the... There we go. 
Hurry, read that. Um. Too late. I don't read kanji. <laughs> Why don't these women have lips? It's in a big package. I, I don't know that. That's just the art style. Very anime. Alright, shall we play Cotton 2? It's basically like uh, all those other um, shoot 'em ups. Uh, I think Matthew J called it a shoot 'em up. Hey, there's Matthew J. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, let's play it. There you go, all of that. So, if you could please translate that. Pass, you know Japanese. Foo, 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 foo. I think that's what it says. Go. Oh. Ooh, what? sorting hat. <laughs> Thank you. 
146. What's your good one good deed for the year playing by guy? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure if you if you watched me play Cotton One, it would have explained this whole game. You went to the cinema. Nice. <laughs> you went around and collected all the chests. Oh, in the in this in uh in um, Jedi Survivor. That's cool. <laughs> Alright. That was my first score. Shall we try it again? I mean, it is a cute em up I, I'll, I'll agree with that. It's funny. It, um... It... Yeah, I I lost a lot of health, right? And I and I stayed with low health for a long time. I was I was too enamored with catching and throwing things. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hey, Kai Cat, the gaming cat. Welcome, 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 everybody. We are currently playing a game. Off of the uh, the arcade machine. Welcome everybody. <laughs> How is Tears of the Kingdom? How did it go? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, welcome everyone who's coming in from Kai Cat's uh, stream. I'm Jay Fries. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We're in the middle of Jedi Survivor. Um, big, big happenings in Jedi Survivor right now. But right now, we're playing Cotton 2 off the arcade machine. So, so for all the all who don't know me from Kai's uh, stream, um, yeah, I'm kind of a retro variety streamer, although not so retro as I'm playing a game off the PS5 right now. So I would say variety streamer. I uh, have completed 133 games on, on Twitch right now. We're working on 134. <laughs> you have, yeah. It's it's very anime-like. Uh, it's very interesting so far. 
here let's do let's play a clip from uh Kai cat the gaming cat stream and y'all go give them a follow all right so i need to go back to arcade mode real hold on go all right here we go do it the ones in you go smoosh Haha, <laughs> you fools. It's all because those without sufficient power take things too far. Now, oh, the ones zero. that I command you in the name of our Lord Serenos. Destroy them. You go smoosh too. You don't need it doesn't recognize us, the ones who allowed it to hatch. Impossible. We are the ones that brought you back to life. In other <laughs> words, we are practically a parrot. You go smoosh too. <laughs> We murder it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> the fairly new clip. Nice. All right, so we play two games. We usually play four games. Um, yeah, it's basically um, uh, a side-scrolling shooter, but you're a witch on a broom. That's cotton. And it's a Japanese game, and so I don't read Japanese. I don't read Japanese, and so, um, yeah, I don't know how to read this, but, but we'll try it again. And thanks again for the raid. I definitely got a lot more points per 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 distance of going into this game. So. <laughs> fa 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 fa. Yeah, I know that. I know that one from Pokemon. Yeah, I I assume like this screen right here. I guess is she a sexy witch? I don't get these things. Once you level her. <laughs> yeah so this is uh i guess was an arcade game in japan so <laughs> this is not we're not playing that right now mad beard this is cotton too her leg is weirdly massive <laughs> yeah it did look a little weird there all right, let's play one more game and see if we can beat that 146.
There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, hold on. There we go. <laughs> 127. I didn't beat 146. So have a good one, Zab. All right, let me update the high score real quick. This one. Yeah, she does have weird, weirdly large legs. 146, 700. That has been updated. Let's just go back. Yeah, sure. You'd feel embarrassed. <laughs> you know, I do remember, I do remember, uh, that reminded me of there, there used to be these like Tetris, like was they Tetris like games. They either were Tetris like games. Or like matching games, and then there was like half naked women underneath it. I remember those in the arcades in the nineties, and yeah, I I would have been too embarrassed to play that back then. The thing is, as you get older, you don't care as much. That's the uh, that's the key. My archive! What do I need to get? Where do I need to get? Where am I going? PD1, take this to the Mantis. I'll meet you at the rendezvous point. Did she just take a selfie? Go. So <laughs> Hagger in final fight. <gasps> it's been a while. I was hoping you drowned on Noor when we blew a hole in your underwater base. It is delusion to think your actions have had any consequence. The fortress stands. The Inquisitorius continues its work. And I have come for you. Only a master of evil, Darth. Yeah, <laughs> okay, gas. Annie, are you okay, Annie?
Oh. Can I see Annie under there? Oh. of the Jedi tradition. Oh, I remember these. Over the corpses of these kids I slew. I guess I have to do more. I'm back. Are you okay, Annie? You don't like encountering OG characters in prequel games. There's no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we know. We, you're right. We know Vader. Uh, that's you. That's the same in like TV shows, right? There was like um, the um, the Obi Wan show. You you knew no one's gonna die in that because guess what? They're in they're in Star Wars. Yikes! I thought I dodged that. I guess I didn't. of the corner, Vader. You know, you really have to be defensive with him. That's true. <laughs> Rogue One, we knew everyone died. <laughs> or we were pretty sure. In this one. Damn it. Defensive. Wow. 
light that cape on fire. You have grown stronger. No. I've only let go of my fear. We shall see. <laughs> To never see you again. Oh, he singed his cape. He's like, I remember this on Mustafar. I had the high ground. How was I supposed to block that? <laughs> All right, <laughs> death me. This is a fun fight, though. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, it went through his arm. <laughs> Thanks, comrade. Oh, did she die? Did she get hit? between worlds? <laughs> oh, or is he come back later? He must have come back later and found her body. No, no. <laughs> it's not another death. I beat. I kind of won. Uh, exactly. Why didn't Vader come and destroy the Mantis? You mean like in uh, that show where he like sucks the ship back in as it tries to take off? Yeah, that was wasn't that Obi Wan? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think there was like a little passage of time there because the ash was falling, and it was just the way they transitioned it. Jedi disappeared. I think that only happens if they're going to become Force Ghost. Yeah. That's true. Did uh Take care of that? Yeah. They're safe. Like in the prequels, the yeah. Order we'll 66 one. Yeah, I was thinking uh, that too. Not everyone just the disappeared. The have scattered. The Empire pursues them. They may return at any moment. Seer brought enough time for BD-1 to reach us with the contact codes for the hidden path. <laughs> but this is all that remains of her archive. No, you have to be We're trained as a fork ghost. Yeah. Hudrod deal. Tell me, how could Bo be a Jedi and be an Imperial spy? He is no Jedi. Why couldn't we sense him? Yeah, he that's what I was wondering. Though I still should have been able to. Now that's enough. He should have been now. able to sense he was Force wielder. <laughs> that's enough, okay? What Bo did, that is on him. It's not on you. It's not on anyone. I agree with Grease there. It's on him. It's on him. We all know it's a rigged game, but we choose how to play. It's a shame that there's not a bounty on his head. We could have hunted him with a guilt tracker. Look. 
Locator beacon. That's how Bode reached us on Kobo. Could it still be active? Well, let's find out. Oh, nothing. Damn it! Cal. The signal. It's faint. BD, dial it in. Nova Garon system. Wait a minute. Why, why would Bo take a detour? He's got a daughter. Maybe that's where she lives. We could catch him there. This feels like a trap. Yeah, it does. So what do you think? Do we risk it? Yes. I don't see what choice we got. For Seer and Master Cordova, I will mask our approach. Okay. Yeah, they, they didn't have to, to make Bode I got the con. force wielder. He could have just been a bad guy, right? Let's go. Mm. Nova hey, Garon. Nova what, what never we makes any sense to me in Star Wars is that. how okay. a force wielder hides themselves from other force wielders. I don't yeah. know if you can hear me, but I'm sure going to miss you. Feeling I haven't felt since. Darth Vader. Here we are, Cal. Time to take our seats so we can land. Stop thinking about Seer. Me too. Won't be able to look at Pylunes the same way again. She fronted me the money. Never got to visit. Now, oh, she never will. I'm sorry, Grease. Yeah, yeah, me too. I would have liked to have shown her around just once, you know? You all right? It happened again. Our friends, our family have died. I know. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, but we must not let their deaths be in vain. You're right. Let's get them. So far, so good. Um. He could. He kind of could tell that there was something special about him. I don't think it. I don't think it's as easy as as they. You know. Oh, I can just sense force wielders. I think it's kind of a. You know, a, a feeling, a sense. What is it, buddy? way we have to find a bd if he's even still here well booty didn't he pulled it out of his ass or something is there a plant game on the ship no there's a it's um it's not on the ship, it's on the planet. There's a guard. Sp Space Australia. <laughs> Space on Is that Space Australia? <laughs> but you can go through the force field, I think. Uh, it's red. I can only go through green. Um, is that true? Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. 
Something tells me this isn't just any imperial turret. Place. What did you say? I said it's just a turret. Just a turret. A turret -y guy. What were you referring to? What was shooting at you in the hallway? Uh, it was a gun turret. Oh yeah, I'd already killed it by the time you said. That. Yes, I was confused. You have to remember that I'm behind you. you frightened me. I thought he was sneaking up behind me. Due to heightened security, this hangar is restricted. All traffic will reroute to tertiary landing pads for enhanced inspection until further notice. ATCs appear normal, but external monitoring is offline. Let's go. He's an officer in the Imperial Security Bureau. The Empire's secret police. You will give me access to the terminal. No, I can't. You're not authorized. I have authorization. You're doing nothing wrong. You're authorized. Access granted. Due to heightened security, this hangar is restricted. But he can, Bode can also do mind tricks? If this is an ISB base, what's Bode doing here? Maybe working for Imperial Intelligence? Suddenly killed. I was pretty sure I, I needed to go that way. Got me in the corner. 
the baby in the corner. Take a look. Let's take a look. <laughs> Your case though. What he needs to be scanning. That one puts BD1 in the corner? That's true too. Come on, BD. Nice and quiet. Can't let Bode know we're coming from. I still can't quite believe it. Lord Vader and the Inquisitorius must suspect something. Perhaps Commander Denvik's scheming has gone too far. Even so, I don't like it. Neither do I. The terminal. Maybe Bode's in the beep, database. Beep, beep. It's here, all right. Not a place in the officers' quarters. Hey, ah, a challenge. Ah. Oh, it's a giant head. It's a giant person. This is Commander Denny. Let me be the first to welcome our guests from the Inquisitorius. We are grateful that Lord Vader has shown an interest in our operations. We will continue to demonstrate that this bureau is indispensable to the Empire. Our enemies are numerous, but with the intelligence our bureau provides, we will prevail. Be always watchful and stay vigilant. <laughs> we are the Imperial Security Bureau. We are the eyes of the Empire. We are eyes of the Empire. <clears throat> I think I saved at the beginning. I'm, it's going to be a long time to get back. Um, let's play some Fry's Quest. Exclamation mark. Join if you'd like to play some Fry's Quest. <laughs> I guess I did. We're having a special today. 
on nothing. Today is a good day to fry. How's it going, okay, Bear? Alright, if you played last game, you can now join. One more spot. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these ready fries for that I ordered? If you customers didn't exist, I'd have a better life. Ready for action. All right. Give him hell, kiddo. All right. Ooh, iron golem. <laughs> I'll be right back. See you in a second.
the Neil steals. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. Ready? What today, do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Ready for action. Good luck. You'll certainly need it.
day only. 2% off when you spend 10,000 or more. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's I don't know why I go to the trouble of making those potions. Ready for action. Today is a good day to fry. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Good luck. You'll certainly need it. Three of them. And the, 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 the. Look out! Go, Flash, go! A triple fisting. <laughs> hey, playing like that. Uh, I swear my eyelashes touch my glasses. Is that a problem? I have long eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can literally see my eyelashes. I did, I did work a little bit last night on the, uh, 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 the, the document for clerics and stuff. Protect is going to be one of those, it was, is a spell. <laughs> yeah, I started writing out the spells. You got you got through them. All right, so now can the survivors beat the the last of the dragons? 
CPR. There will be Raise Dead, which will resurrect a player. Um, well, but they'll come back as one hit point. And then there'll be Resurrect, which will bring them back full health. Um, but that's that'll be like the highest level uh, spell. <laughs> and immediately get punched by a golem. I know, I was thinking that too, but that, that would be the uh, thing. What do spells cost? Well, they will cost nothing. They Because that'll be part of the class. You will have to memorize them, though, in the store. So you will have to uh, load up your characters on spells, basically. <laughs> Prestige spells. Ooh, that's a good question, Dark Passenger. What will we do about prestiging? I'll have to write that in there. See, this is why I'm going to share the doc with you. I think what we'll do with that is maybe you get some extra spells. Maybe not. I don't, I don't think maybe spells that would be specific for, for prestiging, but I think maybe you just get extra spells. And maybe they do extra things. Yeah. Like some spells are good, are gonna do something based on the character's level, so maybe we then, you know, add to that for prestiging. So. <laughs> y'all, y'all won. At least some of y'all did. Ooh, dark passenger, you can level up. Scorpio with the win of a fry. What were the chances? Scorpio was 13%. Where Shipwreck was 33%. Oh, sorry, Shipwreck. And you leveled up. All right. Let's get back to some Jedi. Jedi survivor. Yeah, we're all the way back to the beginning, which kind of sucks. Oh, but you know what? I did open up some shortcuts along the way. So maybe... Maybe we'll be able to find some sh <laughs> more stuff. I'm in stuff. Visitor paint. Why would I want a visitor paint? Paint your BD. That's true. I didn't that's what this, BD. That's what the color. Yeah. Static cling. Oh. Ah, that was dummy. Due to 
already opened that. Due to heightened security, the camera was restricted. All traffic will reroute to tertiary landing pads for enhanced inspection until further measures. Hoping I could bypass the doesn't look like I can. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> what happened? I'm in bad shape, buddy. I don't know. That's it's like I bounced off him. I haven't seen that. <laughs> I mean, there's his dead body. It's like I killed and bounced off of it. Well, you know, sometimes you get the elevator. Sometimes you get the shit. <laughs> You're damn skippy. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to hit down. Came to get down, to get out your seat and jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Up, jump up and get down. Get down. <laughs> Welcome everyone. We were Busta Rhyming, and now we're <laughs> Bustaphonio. Hey, welcome, everybody. How's it going? What were you up to? Final Fantasy Seven. I'm going to be playing Final Fan. Which one am I? An old one. Final Fantasy IV, a.k.a. Final Fantasy II on the SNES. I'm going to be playing that eventually. Welcome everybody. Hey, how's it going? How was your stream? How was Final Fantasy? I haven't gotten to Final Fantasy 7 yet. I'm still on I'm going to play 4. I've I well so uh, I'm just making my way. I have never well besides the first Final Fantasy, this will be the second Final Fantasy I'm playing. I have not played any Well, I played I feel like cuz I played Kingdom Hearts that I I have uh Sort of I get a pass. I get it. Some, well, because there's Final Fantasy characters in Kingdom Hearts. And so. <laughs> it is? Okay. I, I enjoyed the, the original one. I played it on uh, my husband's NES. And uh, played it kind of original style. And so, it, yeah, we're going to plug that into my, uh, isn't into seven my the, Super Nintendo right here. Right isn't there. Seven the big one? Seven like, is, yeah. The, the the, a lot of people love Seven. Seven is, is that the one on PlayStation? I believe it is on PlayStation. Yeah, originally yeah. it was on PlayStation. Yeah, I remember people playing it. Yeah. Yeah, so normally <laughs> so normally I'm a retro streamer and uh but I am playing a PS5 game. Like here's my stack. So, this is the stack of games I'm going to be playing next. <laughs> so we got we got Super Mario 3, but I'm going to be playing the, the Super Mario All-Stars version because I can save. Pokemon Moon. Uh, Super Mario World. Super Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Super Mario Land 2. Uh, now, this is probably what you think. is Dragon Warrior. So the first of the Dragon Quest games. Gonna be playing that on NES. Uh, South Park, the Stick of Truth. It's like which one? Which one of these doesn't belong? Oh, well, kind of Jedi Survivor, right? And then yeah, and then Final Fantasy, the one I held up earlier. Two, four. So yeah, that's that's my upcoming games that I'm gonna be playing. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. Here, so what I normally do is I play a clip from everyone who raids me. And then I and I encourage people to go follow them. All right. 
And I hope I said that right. Bustafonia. I'm referring to your Earth. And here's Final, Fucking idiot. Final Fantasy. However, they were in the midst of evolving, so they created a moon where they could sleep a long slumber. <laughs> Is this spoiler? So that's for where me? Lunarianus come from. However, there was one who refused to sleep. Instead. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I make sure ah I am following you. Three year follow. There we go. <laughs> Final Fantasy three on the NES was six. But it's now been corrected to today's age. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just, you know, me and retro oxes and stuff like that. And, and I always, I'm so North America centric. I like, because this is what I grew up with, right? Was uh, seeing these things, right? And the, the, the numbering, right? So I'm playing, them, I'm playing them in U.S. order. So, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. You warned me, you warned me. Well, welcome. Yeah, like I said, we're playing, we're playing Jedi Survivor. I normally do not play new games. I usually play retro games. Uh, like you can tell from that stack there, PS3 was the newest one. Uh, but me and my husband do have a PS5, so we do play on the PS5 every once in a while. But this is actually my first game to play on stream on the PS5. Soft spot for PAL 50. You know, so when I worked on uh, Madden, believe it or not, Madden Football, there was a PAL version for Madden Football. And I had to, uh, it was a pain in the butt to do the PAL version of Madden Football. Because uh, the game was too hard coded for 60 frames a second, and and uh, when we did 50 frames per second, like there were major football catching problems and all kinds of stuff that were a problem. I need a side duck plushie in the background. Next, next. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. But I opened up a shortcut. I thought. Is this the shortcut I opened? I'm in a storeroom. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's convenient. Let's stop for a moment. Due to heightened security, this hangar is restricted. Final Fantasy 69. <laughs> Alright, so now we can Well see I should have I should have known there was gonna be different uh routes to get back to that. I should have looked for that. Hey, you stop! I've got him. Do you? Do you? Someone else hang him. Remember your training. I assume you were laughing at the grenade getting that guy. The grenade, and then he died, and he died face first. Like poor guy. Earlier, uh, a stormtrooper's head got caught in an elevator. Pretty bad. Oh, you know what? I just came came back the way I came. Just killed those people twice. Oh yeah, I had to go through this hole. Due to heightened security, this hangar is restricted. All traffic will reroute to tertiary landing pads for inspection oh, until further. Didn't even see this. I immediately jumped down. Oh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the raid again. Yeah. Whoa. Good fight here. Don't 
Yeah, I understand if you need to take off. Let's, uh... Go back. Kill these guys. Where's the... There he is. I think it's weird, but... Hey, flamethrower. Yeah, I know. It seems like a weird thing to have, doesn't it? Come on, I dodged that. But it is a remarkably uh, non-flammable room. I need help, bud. It helps if you get away from them when they turn red. It does, it does, does. does. Beep, 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 beep. Thanks for the help, dude. You're supposed to help me. The day the Kingdom Hearts makes sense. The day you're all free. Oh. Another death and diet coke. <clears throat> you think there was anything in that room? You know what? Let's fall down on the robot. That's what I'm thinking. That'll insta kill the robot. Oh, or, or it won't. Oh, look. Don't die. 
<laughs> I love how they have the, the British accent. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> oh, but I think I did it. Uh... Oh, yeah, and then that happened. We can, uh, hey, hey, everybody, how's it going? Welcome, everybody. Hey, Daddy Chatty. How's it going? Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> How's it going? Let me switch over to this scene. <laughs> how did oh, how is Overwatch going? How did it go? We are taking our lightsabers out and taking on the Empire. <laughs> hey, how was your stream? How'd it go? Welcome, everybody. I'm Jay Fries. If you don't know me, oh, we're doing so good. We're just hanging out, taking on the Empire. It's no. very rare that I play on a PS5. But we're I've, doing well. We are doing well. Well, we're doing good because we're on the 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 side of the Jedi, and we are killing the Empire. So we are doing. Good for the universe. Okay. I'll, Was that I'll, a good save? I'll let you go with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for those of you coming over from Daddy Chatty's stream, I'm Jay Fries, retro variety streamer, although playing on a PS5 right now, so that's not very retro. Um, 133 games completed on Twitch so far. Working on Jedi Survivor V134 and then working on some Mario games after that. Uh, trying to get through all the Mario games uh, to play Super Mario Wonder, uh, the new, the newest Super Mario. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Julio, how's it going? You never watch him sweat during Overwatch. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. Yeah, that seems that seems super stressful. I've Oh, Overwatch? I yeah. mean, I've played, you know, I always played Roadhog in Overwatch. Yes, I remember. I remember. Because <laughs> he had an annoying voice. 
Well, I always liked using the hook to hook people and bring them in and then shoot them. I, I just, I, well, I, I tried to get besides you to, looking at Roadhog. I, I tried to get was, you to do that with uh, Scorpion and Mortal Kombat, but you oh. could never figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I could never figure that out. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. Uh, we are playing Jedi Survivor. I was just in the middle of a fight. Uh, let me, uh, let's play a clip from Daddy Chatty. And uh, take a take a look. Everyone should go follow him. He's awesome. He has no clue. Oh, there guy. All two. We take this point. Plays a lot of because they use their. They're gonna use um the junk tire. So I'm gonna try to go for the junk right away. There he goes. I got it. All right, we go. We go. 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 He just looks very chaotic. All right, they're all dead. Kill Ram. Huge. Great job. Did you guys see that? That. Uh... <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> well, this is a different type of fighting. This has more lightsabers and, you know, fighting like this. This guy's pretty tough. I don't like him. He's killing me. I died. Oh, my head went right through the thing. <laughs> oh, I need a death. Oh, thanks. Flame bag up. Let's get back quickly to where I was. This is a pretty fun game, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. Uh, it takes place after Order 66. You're like one of the last uh, Jedi. Uh, in existence. The Jedi. You got it. Yeah, you get the you get the shoot or reflect lasers back at people. And then cut people off. <laughs> More like Zaddy Chatty. Oh wait, you know what? I went the wrong way again. I did that earlier. You do not have to come into this room. You're supposed to go in this hole. Get in the hole. And then go through here, and then you're up here. And then you kill that guy. Kill that guy. And then kill the droid. That guy's not a challenge. Ow! Shit. Man. Up here. Did that sting? I'm doing terrible with this guy. There we go. I'll sit here. <sighs> A twenty foot long lightsaber? Nothing really, I don't think. This is what I like to do. I like pulling people towards me. Well, I am not saving up my health. Is he trying to hide or something? Jack converted those guys. And now they're attacking me. 
there. <laughs> Central Command. Okay, so this is where I was. Out of defense going on here. Oh shit! No! No! Now chopped off an arm. Now. Now, now where are we going? I mean, it looks like I can go this way. I need a place to... Oh, not these guys. You want to pay for that? until we find that base commander. I guess a platform is somewhere else. What? Oh? So what'd you find? Okay. I guess that was nothing. This way. Oh, I see. Really, it's a safe spot. All security personnel, we've lost visuals on the intruder. Report positive ID to Central Command. I think I see a safe spot. Okay, new shortcut, so maybe I can get back and save. This looks promising. Yes. Right. I don't know why they feel compelled to 
Let's have stop. one spot like this. All right, all healed up. Let's go. I think we're just supposed to go this way. The terrorist. Cow cactus. Cow cactus. Okay. Maybe not. So maybe I am supposed to go the other way. Oh, I do see a way. Just to go down here, across there. That seems safe. Not fair. He can go through those. shot from <laughs> oh come on Stim, please buddy
Come on. Man. Shortcut unlocked. Here, let's um, uh, since we're so close, we unlocked that shortcut. Don't go heal and save real quick. Set BD. Saving is good. Stay over here. Oh, come on. Holy fuck! I need something, buddy. Pointless evasion. You're gonna be sorry. I'm just gonna stay in this room, so y'all are gonna have to come get me. Holy shit! That I guess. <laughs> Did not notice that. Does anyone have eyes on the Jedi? <laughs> Welcome, Murray, again.
Why, hello. Carl Kestis. I'd assume the first time we met you'd be strapped to an interrogation chair. I've heard that before. Still weird. Get on the comms and call off the base alert. Or what? You're a Jedi. I know what you're capable of. And what you were not. <laughs> on the comms. Now. This is Commander Denvik. The Jedi has been neutralized. All units stand down until further notice. Satisfied? I'm here for Bo Dakuna. How did you find this place? A locator beacon on Bo's ship. I'm characteristically careless. His reports indicate you two have grown quite close since Coruscant. You're the one who sent him to infiltrate my team. Correct. Bode has been my weapon for some time. Quite effective. Unlike those armored abominations in the Inquisitorias. So it's true. Seer's dead because of you. No. The Jedi operation is still months away. You're lying. The Empire burned the archives, led by Darth Vader. Lord Vader. I have to stop this while I still can. Fate, don't you see? Bone lured you here to destroy me. They're coming. Dead man of it. <laughs> I don't think I make a very good uh, Im Imperial. Boat's got to go through us to get to his ship. Let's hurry. If anyone sees you, it'll blow her disguise. On the other side. Hey, pass. Where are they interrogating the Jedi? Why? Do you want to crack at him? That's right. Do stormtroopers possess resistance training that I don't know about? That's only for the feeble minded. Yes, that's exactly my point. He's not answering his calm. Try again. Maybe he's interrogating the Jedi. Alive. Incredible. Alive. It's, it's quite the play for Denver. Yeah, fair enough. Beating the Inquisitors at their own game. Alive, Don't let our new guests hear you saying yeah. that. Familiar to you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, They're watching little. us. Oh, of course. And we're watching them. Right. State your business. I have an appointment. And what is the nature of this appointment? You don't need to know my appointment. That's classified. I have clearance. Central Command should have called that in. I'm going to have to call in a security droid. Stay right there. <laughs> Send down a security droid. Is this necessary? I can't make... Let me through, now. I can't. Not without security clearance. Let me through, and I'll put in a good word with Denvik. A good word with Denvik? Yes. Go on, officer. There we go. <laughs> hey, buddy. Be ready for anything. Mm. 
Slice it. <laughs> exactly. He's not here. Let's look around. He was gathering intel on us the whole time. Let me meditate. Let me let me take some time and meditate. <laughs> All set, BD. Look at that. Mama. Easy, sweetheart. I know. It's just me and you now, Kara. Hmm? Just me and you. Bode's daughter. And her mother. I'm worried that he's going to come back at any second. <laughs> I'm supposed to be here. This is where I'm supposed to be. Go to his quarters. The data disk looks ancient. Let's see what's on it. Room with a view, I guess. What'd you find? Ah, it's a mixed thing. The Dagon was watching. Daughter. Sorry. Must be Kata. I'm Cal, and this is BD1. It's nice to meet you. Where's your dad, Kata? He said to pack for a trip. You don't work here, do you? No. The first person to figure that out. Are you really a Jedi? Yeah. I am. Well, I've finished packing. I can't find my Mookie doll. Uh, yeah, I'll help you find him. Smoky? <laughs> kind of looks like me. A little. <laughs> My mama gave him to me. Kata. Did your dad tell you where he's taking you? It was supposed to be a surprise. <sighs> but you got here a little sooner than I expected. Come here, Kata. Papa, what's going on? This is my best friend. We had a fight, but we'll get things settled. When we go.
a Jedi? Yeah. How'd you survive the purge? The Council assigned a few of us to intelligence during the Clone Wars. I used the skills that I learned there to disappear. Went into hiding. Didn't know who to trust. Familiar story. Right. But then I met the most incredible woman. Your mama. One day, Kata and I were out running errands, and I got this message. Don't come home. Inquisitors. <clears throat> Looking for me. My wife bought us the time to escape. I knew I couldn't run forever. And so I cut a deal. Dundee keeps us hidden. As long as Papa stays useful. True path. They were lying to us from the very start. Order 66 was not very successful. Tanelor was a way out for both of our families. You were going to give it to the hidden path. A, a, a bunch of strangers. And you were going to sacrifice thousands of people to save yourself. Monster boat. No. I'm a father. The first time I held her, I saw the entire galaxy in her eyes. Understand. I understand betrayal. And that you lured me here to take down this base. Right. Well, fighting the Empire is what you do best. Run! The intruder is in my quarters! He's armed! Shoot to kill! Kill that Jedi! Bode! Get out of my way! L3, R3 to have Cal embrace the darkness. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's really any darker than the way you pull people and stab them.
Tom, you okay? Boat's escaping. If he gets away, he's gone forever. Hey, Mary, you hear that? Where'd she run off to? Destroy that fighter! Don't let that traitor escape! We're too late. Got to get back to the Mantis. I wonder if you can get through that without using the bad negativity dock side. Oh shit. and the compass. They use me as a distraction. Damn you! Go on, Jedi. Do it! Do it! Rather you than Lord Vader! Who is this? He sent boat after our team. My crew. Cordova. Mm. See her! Mm. They're all dead because of him! Come! This is what Bold wants. I know you are in pain, but this is not you. The Empire has taken enough from us. I will not lose you too. Ooh, the crunching.
Give the Inquisitors my regards. I'm all right. I'm fine, buddy. You don't have to worry about me. was that? Was it... I don't know what that was. If you feel it again, you will tell me. I will. Good. Oh, finally, I was worried sick. Wait, don't tell me. He was fighting the entire base, wasn't he? You are right. Okay, Cal. We got no boat. We got no compass. Now tell me the truth. I can take it. We lost him. What compass remains? If you are hearing this, you know where I've left it. But if the compass is gone, do not despair. What's this? This isn't just the last goodbye. There is another way to reach Tanalor. Activate the arrays and align them to the coordinates embedded in this message. There's a control center here. If we align the arrays, we can create a flight path through the abyss. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You want me to fly the manus through a ship-eating nebula using a tiny tunnel carved out by 200-year-old tech? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm in. <laughs> Let us take a break. Prize quest. All right, exclamation mark join if you want to play some prize quest. I will unlock it in a few seconds. Uh, if, if there's no new players, <laughs> you can go ahead. If you didn't play last game, go ahead and hit exclamation mark join. I don't think there's any new players, so there I have unlocked it for everyone else. Welcome to Here DLC comes Dark Passenger. Deal. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. Already back up to level what? Six? Yep, six. <laughs> Will it be a solo the solo Dark Passenger battle? <laughs> That would be something. I guess it would be 100% of the fries. <laughs> I reformulated my potions with 25% less lead. Ah, here goes Matthew J. Ready for battle. Well, it looks like it might be a duo battle. Level Give 19 and level out. 6. Hopefully it won't be too hard. All right, I'll see you in a second. <laughs>
welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else you gonna go? Ready for action. Ready for action. We're closed. Get out of here. <laughs> so close too. 35 hit points left. 35 hit points left. That was a tough draw too because you got a 24 and a 1. So the way the math worked on that was it said basically pick me a, 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 a monster between 1 and 25 and it said hmm how about 24? <laughs> <laughs> so very very unlucky there so yeah yeah you probably couldn't hit it at all yeah well even i mean you should have had a better chance though because since you're what two are you three i yeah, see so you had plus 15 percent to hit though as a level three uh prestige level <clears throat> or no, it's not 15%. It's, uh, I think it would be like five, seven and a half percent. Uh, where to? How can we be sure this experiment's going to work anyway? We cannot. <laughs> so we start up some arrays, whatever those are, punch a hole in the abyss, and then fly through? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I 
I'm surprised how few like levels there really are in this game. But um uh they're very they're much bigger right, than the last game. It's like you're not traveling to as many worlds, but the worlds are much deeper. And the story I feel like has been much better in this game. Beard hadn't loaded in yet. Where do we have to go? Oh, we have to go to the array. The line array is at Kobo Control Center. Got it. Okay, well, it's not that far. Or is it? This is a, a official, uh, Jump. official Jedi business. Got to uh, take your deeds, I guess. But this way? I think it's over. Let's go this way. Thanks for the assist. Yes, we gotta. Come on! Ah! Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what people were saying before. supposed to go? Let's take this to Domas. Is all that just for a shard? Here we go, buddy. Maybe we need to go around the other. Oh, okay. It's like, why do I have the blaster? It's because I'm on the... on the chocobo. Mm. 
system damage. Everybody. Luis the farm lady, welcome. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. What were you up to? Gro Cozy Grove. Welcome. How's it going? Thank you so much for the raid. And your token viewer. <laughs> It's okay. That's okay. I don't look at I don't look at those. I don't look to see how many people are rating. I just thank you so much for rating me and coming on in with a with a flash and a bang. <laughs> I just thank you for that. How was your stream? How did it go? I'm Jay Fries, retro variety streamer. <laughs> I'm doing well. We're we're making our way through uh this the land of Star Wars. <laughs> but yeah thank you here i'm gonna play uh let's play a uh a um a clip from your stream so we can find out a little bit more about yourself hopefully you have a good a good clip <laughs> we're about to find out i love playing clips but it's animals aquarium so you gotta tell me about this can't i can't write New chicks hatching. Oh, oh, look at that. How cute. So you really are a farm lady then. There's, there's no, there's not, there's no, uh, that's not a misnomer. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's cute. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you so much for the raid and welcome. Come on in. What made you uh what made you raid my channel? Uh, where did these bad guys come from? It's like they want to be angry. They wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I don't think you have that now. Oh, no, you do. <laughs> yeah? Nice. No, that's great. That's what, that helps your uh, your channel kind of stand out from everyone else. Like uh, one of the things I like to uh, this terminal will have to wait. Uh, well, I see. Um, one of the things that is unique to my stream is uh, so I don't program much anymore, but I used to program a lot more, and so I've made like a little game for my machine for my uh, stream, and that's how I make my stream kind of stand out yeah you raid the other night oh thank you oh <laughs> nice well, i'm glad i remind you of them yeah i'm a i well i always say is i'm a first generation gamer like i, I remember growing up <clears throat> I mean, uh, you, you, you aren't either. Nothing? You didn't have Pong. Uh, well, no. I mean, we had Pong there. as a family. We had we had the Magnavox thing. You hooked up to the TV, and it had Pong. It had like four types of Pong. It had no. I meant the arcade game Pong. 
Oh, <laughs> I, I don't remember much about that. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, it was, it was like, the, I just remember it being this kind of yellow thing, and it just had the little controller things. <laughs> well, I do too. I, I remember, I had a, I had a, a 300 baud modem for my Commodore 64, and I remember picking up the phone, dialing it, and then turning on the modem, and then hanging it up, and hoping my parents wouldn't pick up the phone and mess up my, my dial-in. So he, we looked it up. Um, Magnavox Odyssey was several different products. Yeah. And he didn't have the one with the controller on a cord. Yeah, no, mine was not. His, his was basically a Pong style unit. Yeah, it was a Pong unit, yeah. Remember when Pac Man came out? I remember when Pac Man came out. I had Pac Man fever. Pac Man fever. It's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. Oh, wait, actually, it starts. I got a pocket full of quarters and I'm heading for the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this the 80s were wonderful. Still don't know where. I feel like that way. Maybe it's over there. <laughs> well, I mean, we were younger, so it's like we hadn't, you know, we didn't have mortgages and <laughs> stuff like that to worry about. <laughs> Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Toss it here. I, I remember phone attached to the wall. Yeah. In fact, what he was talking about dialing out, I had to take the phone off the wall to plug it in. Yeah. The computer, I mean. Into the computer. Yeah. What's that? Ooh. A lot of them chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Just reached the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. Did I just reach? Welcome. I am Centauri Cree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is going to stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turtle? Maybe not Turtle. <laughs> I need Eight to clear spot. my mind. Let's go. Is all of this. Herd troopers. Where are they doing here? Where? Ah! <laughs> Yeah, it's like they've seen the last Jedi. Yeah, they've watched the last Jedi. <laughs> yeah, you know that or they're doing that. Yeah. 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 
Oh, oh, I just <laughs> cut off both of his arms. I hate the flame throw. <laughs> yeah, they suck. Maybe you need to embrace the darkness. I have embraced the darkness. Oh, they killed me! They killed me! Hey, RS25. <laughs> See the twist coming. I. Well, alright. So, no. Kind of. So I just played a game called The Last Story, and it was from, uh, when did Last Story come out? It was on the Wii, so it would have been in the late 2000s. And in that story, your best friend betrays you. <laughs> and so, and so I kind of went into this game going, looking at Bode going, you better not be betray me. And so... When it happened, I was surprised. There was, there was, I was surprised because it, it it went so far that I was like, ah, this isn't gonna happen. And then, and then it did. And so, yeah. So I was a little surprised. Yeah. Okay. Twenty twelve. Okay. So it was a little bit later. Oh yeah, that's right. We talked about that. It was, it was kind of late in the we, um, the the we uh, life cycle. How are you? Yeah, so it wasn't spoiled, um, which is cool. So kudos to people. Uh, although, you know, I kind of avoid stuff sometimes when I know I'm going to play it. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, like, uh, we were we were kind of joking that, like, Order 66 was totally a failure because all these Jedi keep popping up. That weren't killed <laughs> by Order 66. Well, if they weren't... In the Jedi headquarters, and they weren't. That's true. If they weren't with stormtroopers, and if they weren't with clones, yeah, yeah, I mean clones, right? They they had a chance. Yeah. For example, this guy was on a ship. Yeah, he managed to get away. Oh fuck! 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 Oh. 
I didn't realize how low my health had gotten. You have to pay attention. I do have to pay. You do have to pay attention to your health. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like there's everything in Star Wars makes sense. Starting. I was trying to get in the room. I am the best. You are the best. All right. Nothing's gonna ever get you down. I don't think I've ever cut off his legs like that. Evidently they're freaking out about Beyonce's country music. Oh, come on! Holy shit! That was close. <laughs> that was close.
That was close. Impressive. So this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps you will bring me some much needed luck. Hmm. I could use a stage. This looks spot. promising. Not bad for an abandoned facility. All the arrays are online. Now we just have to activate them. must have locked down the facility when they evacuated. That's not going to stop us. Beep, beep, the lift beep, isn't beep. here. ET phone hum. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Huh. You gotta hand it to Cree. Thought of everything. Move it on up, move it on up. <laughs> yeah, I was saying that earlier. It's it's been interesting how they've uh, they've kind of kept it. Can't use this lift yet. They've kept it. They didn't have that many different planets. They're very much a f only a few planets, but they've made them much more interesting. Oh no! Oh, it's, it's C. C, you made it. Breeze informed me you need assistance, so here I am. It's a long trip. Couldn't have been easy. I might be 200 years old, but I'm as spry as a Padawan. <laughs> amazing. Oh, Cal, this is simply amazing. Can you start the arrays when we're in position? Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. Tanalor. Time to head back to the Mantis, buddy. Let me go through the abyss. I'm not thrilled about it either. It's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. This is the longest elevator. Even Cal's getting bored. I gotta just jump down and get out of here. <laughs> exactly. It could have used music. I totally agree. And I had the rest there. I, I could have. Skills. I'll do you, that in a second. You know what's disappointing? What? When you go to leave a bad review on Google Maps for something and you've already done it. <laughs> <laughs> you've you've already been mad about this place. Yeah, well it's the target here. Oh, okay. And were you gonna complain about the same thing or was it something? Uh weird? it was similar. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, not having stuff. not having stuff. Yeah.
we live in a city of about 30,000 people. Hey there, friend. And we have a 30-year-old target. And they came and redid the inside. Uh, but they didn't make it any bigger. And they tried to jam more into Thanks it. For the ride. So now whenever you go for something, they've run out of it. They didn't have envelopes. Yeah. I couldn't believe they didn't have envelopes. Like, how do you have a target and not have envelopes? Crazy. And I mean, that's not like I went to Target the other day, a different one, because I don't like to go to the one here. And um, they had some empty shelves, but it was like seasonal stuff that, the, you know, that they're let it clear out and then they fill it back in. But I mean, envelopes are not seasonal. <laughs> yeah i mean neil had something to mail and then he was like oh we're out of envelopes i'll just i'll just pick some up at uh target or do a pickup order at target there were nope. like some other things that i could have gotten yeah I know. It, it didn't seem weird that they would not have envelopes. <laughs> it's just like a standard thing. Well, let's see what it was last time. Let's pick our next destination. Iceberg lettuce and finger bandages. This store always disappoints. They redid it inside so they could disappoint more and confuse you. It's on the smaller size side and has a unique knack of being out of whatever you're looking for. <laughs> Today it was iceberg lettuce and finger bandages. I guess they only have to be good enough to keep you from driving to Walmart. <laughs> Why is it so silent? Why aren't people oh, talking? Breeze is ready for a bumpy ride. Uh oh, interact with the hollow table. <laughs> ah, I kind of expected a cutscene. We're heading to the abyss now. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the force be with you all. And you see. What do you think is taking Z so long? Hey, Zab. Dag and Gera was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Hey, great pep talk, kids. Hopefully <laughs> they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. Thing. 
target. <laughs> it's beautiful. We're flying through a gent giant intergalactic anus. Right before they were torn into vortex. Living wings, living wings. <laughs> How did you use the force? The Star Wars. Now it's an obstacle course. <laughs> this design of this ship is terrible. They're coming too fast. But you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby. <laughs> Getting a tad cozy. It's not just you. See what's going on? The arrays are overloading. There's nothing I can do. We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man. It's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? You know I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. Now. Exactly, they should have rerouted main power to, from the deflector dish. <laughs> it's like, we've got to kiss while he's yelling. <laughs> you did it, you three-armed son of a gun dark. <laughs> Is he three-armed? Oh, I thought he was four-armed. At least none of us lost our cool. Huh. Wow. I hope it's worth it. Oh wait, so now how are they supposed to get back? Shh. Oh, is one of his arms a robot arm? I didn't know. How'd y'all get outside no, this already? This is it. Anilor. You and Mara be careful out there, okay? Yeah, Magic. yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. Thought I was supposed to talk to you. Apparently not. The water is a weird color blue. That was the color of water in Canada. So this is Tenelor. <laughs> Not what you were expecting. To say, and the milk is white expecting. here. So much has changed since I first heard its name. They've made it to Earth. It's like ice fire. Temples this way. Dragon <clears throat> and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. Or Battlestar Galactica. Beautiful. A mountain of entertainment. Paramount. Okay. 
Oh, I almost walked off the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't she stop me? I was, peacefully. I was so uh, enamored oh. with the map. Oh wow, murder. you uh, we really to were about to. With nowhere else to run, he will kill or be killed. Well, say something. You're right. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's Very sake. Very well. And ours. A little crack to go to walk through. You know it's the right way when there's a little crack to walk through. I think you enjoy that too much. I keep thinking about something Seer once said. A warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. And I kind of saw... I kind of saw that too coming. Uh, uh, Cal's actions throughout the whole game have been very borderline dark side. It didn't surprise me much. Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, he doesn't have Do someone to kind of warn him gotcha. like Luke did. Well, I mean, I'm sure that with what he's had to deal with, it would be bad. Oh, yeah, I get to sit outside this creepy temple. Hey, Kata. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? Yeah. Watch us kill your dad. Okay. Follow me. like it here it's dark and lonely you don't have to be afraid oh, yeah Better? green creepy light that helps <laughs> you're very pretty it's better than no light yeah I guess so it's like light sticks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't be scared. Look at my witch magic. How's it going? Kata! How did you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. 
and you. But you have to surrender now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. Oh, my. I will decide what's best for my family. Yeah. I know you would think.
Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> On your daughter. Mode, we know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, Papa. All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kata. I tried. Oh. Oh. Traumatize the girl for life. It's funny as he gave him that gun. Yeah, that's true. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. the mantis have a morgue <laughs> i guess not yeah uh, yeah they he brought them on board yeah 
you know, stored them in the back compartments. This is reminding me a little bit of Empire Strikes Back. Just, you know. They didn't burn any bodies in the Empire Strikes no, Back. No, but uh, just the way it's ending. If this is the end. Um, you know, as Randall would say, you know, just like life, it ends, it ends on a down note. <laughs> just like life. Yeah, you can kind of tell, like, uh, Cal's journey towards the dark side has to be what the third game is about, right? You think he's going to end up on the dark side? I don't. I think he's going to battle with it. I don't know how you make a game out of that, <laughs> but. Right here. You saved my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm ready for what comes next. Thought that was going to happen. <laughs> Cal, guide her through the darkness. His saber. <laughs> he kept the red saber. <laughs> Thanks, Flaming Baguette. That was a great final boss battle, too. One try. One try. Defeated him in one try with a little bit of health left. That was great. I... The... The story for this one was much, 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 much better than the first one. Um, and even though, like I was saying, it didn't have as many worlds, it's just the way they wove the story 
was so much better than the last one. But yeah, and I just, I love the controls on this. Uh, the way you block and attack and just the, the, the gameplay was really good. Um, the, uh, there's a, it was kind of buggy though. A lot of bugs, but it, they were all visual bugs. It really wasn't any gameplay. I mean, it's not things any, that broke or anything. It was just visual things. So it's not any more than anything that happens yeah. these days, really. I mean, you're used to playing retro games. I was gonna say I've been playing retro games that are <laughs> freaking bug free. <laughs> they're well, they're a lot simpler. They are a lot, and simpler. they aren't, and they aren't, and they aren't patched over and over and over. Yeah. I mean, this is this is what happens when you get this sort of bloated code. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, thousands of digital assets. Yeah, a lot of digital assets. Yeah, I never did find the poncho. Well, I, I did find it. Yeah. I don't remember where. Um, <laughs> exactly. I do. <laughs> I, have I mean, high, I have high on, expectations. I, I would honestly say you're lucky with a AAA game these days. Yeah, I know. If it, if it runs correctly when it comes out. Yeah. I mean, look at the trend lately. Yeah. Should we should we look for I mean, I can find out where the poncho is. Yeah, no, if okay. you really want it. That's true. Golem completely was free. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is the patch version. It's almost a year since this game came out, believe it or not. It's about ten months since this game came out. You well, you know, it's funny. You had, you ran into more bugs than I think I saw. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because we were playing the same. Well, probably not the same version. I probably you play you played it right when it came out, and I, uh, you know, obviously didn't. Yeah, kudos to the people who wrote the story. It was really good. A lot of narrative designers on this game. Basically writers. Well, this is good too, because... Uh... Oh. <laughs> I have someone I know that's... Uh big uh, Star Wars fan and I'm going to talk to him. But yeah, I, actually I didn't I didn't expect to finish this tonight. I guess I expected to be on that final boss for like a t t two or three hours like the last boss. What I don't know what it was. Maybe that boss prepared me for this boss? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, having the dark side helped, but it didn't help all the way. Yeah, I didn't end up using that as much as you did. <laughs> you're saying you're saying my journey to the dark side was more than yours, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, Ravis uh, was pretty hard too. Yeah. So, um, what what was the the guy the the one armed guy? Hey, he was the one that I I took a long time on. I know ninety seven deaths. <laughs> da Dagra or Dagan. yeah, da Dagan, Dagan Gara, yeah. He he, I took hours, almost the whole stream, uh, finishing that. It was funny. That was like two hours, and then uh, and then the whole like game was like what's going on because <laughs> that was where bode uh like um uh you know betrayal and everyone's dying and i'm like what's going on why why is this happening <laughs> it totally went sideways after that ba boss battle <laughs> like you were saying it was like oh no that's not the end <laughs> even though he's not the final boss and you fight him three times. But yeah, definitely a fun game. I, I do enjoy you, you notice how I always I always like the single lightsaber. It's just uh I don't know. It felt right to me. The speed. Yeah. 
Yeah, I switched them around. You switched them around? Yeah, I would go... Yeah, it was good. They had a mechanic around it this time, and they had multiple choices. Like, I thought the cross guard one, which was more like a broadsword, was a cool... Or a claymore sword was yeah. pretty cool. I would go... But it was slow. I used the double sword a lot. Yeah. Because I could spin it around and throw it and it would go in a circle. Yeah. I mean, it was the problem is it was kind of weak, but it, you could take care of a lot of things out of reach. Yeah. Well, you know, so that wrapped up the the set of eight games that I'm going to be playing. So when we come back on Friday, I will be playing Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, we will be playing the Super Mario All-Stars version on the Super Nintendo, though. That allows me to save at each world. So, like, if I have to stop the stream, I can just come back to where I was. Um... That's what I did with 1 and 2. I'm looking forward to that. And then we'll be on to another Pokemon. Pokemon Moon. So, fun! Oh, look at that. All the kids that were born during the production of this game. <laughs> production babies. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, motion capture with this. You were big on the two lightsabers and the blaster. The blaster was pretty cool that they added that. But yeah, cool. I, I like I said, I really enjoyed this game. It was uh, the story was really, really good. And it's funny how you know AAA games it takes a lot of people to make AAA games now. Little Red Zombie Studios. All right. Have a good one, RS. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, this is this is past my bedtime, too. Normally, we stop the stream at 1.15. But obviously, with the game ending. <laughs> Wrap up that stream. else to say about this game. This uh, is really good. I would have made the credits faster. <laughs> Virtuos. Yeah, this is these are all uh outsourcing companies. Oh okay. that they've uh, 
yeah this is all the people who worked on looks like it's been a lot of artists so probably just you know all the characters uh and then you know all the outfits and stuff that you can get probably took a lot <laughs> Thanks, Oceanic. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it was very good. It was very good. Very good story. Very good story. Yeah, that was uh, that was game one thirty four finished. It is. I was just saying that. Just mentioning that. We're still on uh, outsourcers. <laughs> I think of wrangling all the names for these credits. Someone had to do that. Oh, you know, there's some guy with an Excel spreadsheet somewhere. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Heard of any of these people? Nope. <laughs> All right. Ocean tracker. Facial animators. Interesting. Able Gamers Foundation. I wonder if that was for, okay, senior user researcher. We go. Cameron Mont is it Montigan? Mon Monagon. Yeah. Monagan. The guy from Shameless. Oh, there's Scott Lawrence to Darth Vader. I there's a Boba Boba apparently Boba Fett's in this game. Oh, 
I, I did not know that. I did not encounter Boba Fett. He must be one of the bounty hunters because there's a whole kind of thing where you can hunt, hunt down all the bounty hunters. You could warn him about the Surlac pit. Don't do it. I don't know. Whenever I think of Boba Fett anymore, I think of that robot chicken where he fall, they, he ha falls in love with the other thing that fell in with him. <laughs> and then the Sarlacc pit uh, spits them out because he doesn't want to listen to them anymore. <laughs> That's how he escaped. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of testers. You wouldn't know it. These are the, t the people who tested all the languages. <laughs> exactly. This, the credits have been rolling for at least 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, Shell Shock. Hey, thanks. Yeah, we're just sitting here watching these long credits. I mean, I've already said everything I wanted to say about the game. It didn't take that long. This has to be the longest credits we've ever watched on this, on this stream. Well, this has to be the newest game you've ever played on this. Oh, that's true. It is the newest game I've played. I mean, well, that's not true. I've played, like, uh, well, play, Breath of the uh, not play, Breath of the Wild. Uh, you played Animal Tears Kingdom, of the Kingdom when it came out. I played Tears of the Kingdom. I played um, Metroid Dread. Uh, <laughs> one Eternity Later. Yeah, but neither... Those games are not as involved as the... Yeah, yeah, definitely not. I really did like Metroid Dread, though. That was a really good game. Gosh, they haven't... Well, there was just... There haven't been done many Metroid games. Are they yeah. now doing other languages? Uh... Yeah, talent... Yeah, these are the people who did... The voices in different languages. This is like watching the end of the credits on a Netflix show where you get to see all the credits in other languages and stuff. Be weird. I wonder if they try to get like people who kind of sound like the people who are in English. <laughs> usually not. You don't think so? Well, maybe they did for this, but usually, yeah. like if you have ever heard anything that's been dubbed into another language, the yeah. voices are nothing like. <laughs> it's it. nothing like it. 
Wait, is, is, if like everything in Spanish, all the men, yeah. are, they're always very deep voiced. Yeah. Um, if you haven't watched Backstroke of the West, <laughs> Star Wars Backstroke of the West, that is, um, uh, Revenge it's trans. Of... It's translated to Chinese and back to English. Yeah. What is it? Which one is it? The last. The. It's the third movie. Yeah, the third movie, which is. Uh, um... Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Okay, yeah. Revenge of the Sith. It's basically Revenge of the Sith that's been translated to Chinese and then back to English. As and it's called Backstroke of the West, which is I guess Revenge of the Sith <laughs> translated to Chinese and back to English. I guess using Google Translate or something like that. And it's on YouTube if you just go look for usually I guess Neil look to see if it's still on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the whole movie yep it's still there uh, Star War the third gathers backstroke of the west <laughs> my favorite is when you get to the big no, Dar Darth Vader going, no. Yeah. It says, do not want. <laughs> do not want. <laughs> oh, you have a good idea? All right. <laughs> so it is translated. It is people have dubbed it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. remember if it was if it was dubbed or if it was subtitled. It's well, it's both. I'm so, surprised they didn't either. But I guess they replace everything, so it's not. But it is the whole movie, just gibberish, basically. Uh, well, I think it's I think it's sort of fair use. I mean, it's yeah. been up for years. Uh, it's been up for years. I mean, we watched that years ago. Um, another uh, Star Wars parody that we really like is Ariel Knots. You'll hear us come. Um, Ariel Knots. Ariel Knots. I always screw it up. Um, that is, um, have done the first six movies. Oh, no, they did the seventh movie, too. The yeah. one sequel movie. And, uh, yeah, Ariel Knots. And they're hilarious. Yeah. Uh, It's like, yeah, it's like bad lip sync. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I, I think want you I to dance fight me. I, <laughs> I, I think uh, I was your wingman. Your game is weak. <laughs> um, like I, With I think, yeah, I think my favorite part of that parody, yeah, is that they took the longest movie, The Phantom Menace. Yeah, and made it like and made it the shortest one of those videos of thirteen minutes. Yeah. <laughs> all all you need to see of the Phantom Menace can be trimmed the, down to thirteen minutes. Yeah, the Yoda song from uh, Empire. Yeah, yeah, from bad lip re uh, bad lip syncing. Yeah. Or la la lip reads. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, where are we now? The mill. What? Marketing is what it says. Is this marketing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about either. <laughs> um is it like the continued crazy storm in Los Angeles? Is that know. what it is? Oh, look, the colorist was Paul. <laughs> it's, oh. it's like Cher. You know Paul. Oh, yeah, Paul. Yeah, yeah Paul. Oh, here comes legal. Are they going to have the person who swept the floors in the studio, too? 
<laughs> is a parody to Michael Bublé's Haven't You uh, Haven't Met You Yet? Ah, okay. Oh my goodness, these credits. I remember that my mom liked Michael Bublé. Yeah. Uh, only because she could understand the words. <laughs> and I would just be like, that's great, mom. Oh, definitely liked it better than the first game. Uh, yeah, it's just they, they improved so much on it. And then, you know, and it was good because it wasn't like Metroid where they, um, where you lost all your powers and you had to regain them all. You, you started with the same powers you had from the last game and then you got more, right? And so I thought that was really cool. Um, it was fun. I had just played the last game again a few months ago. And so it was pretty it was pretty cool just coming right jumping right into it. And then I would say uh, just the story was so much better. So much more appealing. Much more emotion in it. There's Gordy. I went to high school with Gordy. Yeah, Neil went to a high school with Gordy, and he just won an Emmy for for this stuff. The both of those two guys did. Yeah, and won some other award too. Abbey Road Studios, London. Yes, yes, I remember. He actually, so, he, you said he made. I, a Facebook I remember. Post after I remember that. he put up a picture when he went. Yeah. He has an orchestration credit as well. Yeah. Ooh, he has a. Scheduling coordinator for Gordy Hobb Music Incorporated, and an assistant. Yeah, he's well. He he's a subcontractor, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, he can turn this into actually doing stuff for the movies if he wants to. Like I think he has movies. done some. Oh, has he? Yeah. That's yeah, that would have been cool to meet him. <laughs> nice one, Cobra. <laughs> oh my goodness, what are all these names? I didn't see what was at the beginning. Oh, it's Orchestra. Wow. He, he, he's done he's done two films that were in China. <laughs> oh, okay. And he's done a bunch of video games. <laughs> I want to say, uh, so ads just ran on my channel again. I want to say ads ran right before the credits started. <laughs> There's 30 minutes between ads. Maybe you should just end it. <laughs> no, I want to see the end. It, we're, we're to John Williams, Walt Disney Company, Lucasfilm. Oh, we got to have credits for Lucasfilm. Does, does George Lucas get a, get a credit at all? 
Uh, well, he originated it all. Yeah. <laughs> One hour and 38 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of cool. Well, they talked about doing a movie. One of the movies is going to be like that, too. Yeah, exactly. There's Kathleen Kennedy. Mm. I have a feeling she, besides being the president of Lucasfilms, oh, well, nah, I bet you, hmm, I wonder if she even... She probably had to green light the story somehow, I bet. Yeah. Oh, so what's the difference between the Old Republic and the High Republic? Uh, I guess the Old Republic is old, old, and the High Republic is like the, t the height of the Republic's power. Okay. Before, before the Empire. Yeah. Before the Dark Side. Before the Empire, I would, I would, I would probably go. You could probably go as far to say as that the High Republic was maybe like two hundred years before the Phantom Menace. Yeah. As Yoda around, I see. Okay. And the Old Republic does not. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if they've already... They probably have already written... I bet you they've already written the next game. He, oh. does, he does not have a credit for it yet. Oh, his, next, his next project is uh, a video game. They probably haven't written the music for it yet. Yeah, yeah. No, I meant, I meant the, the story. Oh, it has to do with, it has to be about Cal heading towards the dark side. I mean, it was kind of foreshadowed there right at the end, right? So it has to, has to be about that. Disney Parks Experience. Why are they getting credits in this? <laughs> uh, maybe they use Star Tours in this. Some. Is Star Tours, is Cal Kestis in Star Tours? <laughs> That'd be awesome if he was. Although regular people would be like, who's that? The new will be in the next Ray movie. Yeah. Yeah. Who will? Well, these characters happen before. This is between uh, Star Wars and this is after Order 66. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be in that era. Right. No, Sab. <laughs> it will be rejected. <laughs> um, I guess you could do that. You could do something like that. Well, I mean, you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. They, they may kill him off in the next game. Yeah. Or would he be old? Because, like, uh, Han Solo aged a lot. <laughs> Seem to have aged a lot. Oh my goodness. It's all the open source software. Jesus. This I have a feeling these credits are way too like I mean it's got commenting here. <laughs> uh. 
Well, evidently they're putting out an Indiana Jones game. Yes, they showed they showed uh, some previews of it. He's you still- know, I have not watched the uh, the Nintendo did a um, direct today, and I have not watched it. He's doing the mu- the music for that by the expanded universe. Oh yeah, that, I bet you. Now that I could see of Grogu, Mando being in in the Ray movie. By the time these credits <laughs> end. I'll be able to collect social security by the time. I know. I'll be ready to retire by the time these credits end. <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about... Um, watching it uh on stream but i was like nah i want to get to this i want to i want to play this i didn't i was not expecting finishing this tonight but i'm glad i did i did i'm ready to move on to uh super mario (laughs) it's been 83 years since the credits began well, it says it says they they say a third game is in development. Yeah. Uh, targeting Unreal Engine Five. Yeah. So what are these using? Unreal Engine Four. Probably four. Yeah. Believe it or not, it wasn't in the credits. <laughs> yeah. Well, Unreal Engine oh, wait, was. There's an after credit scene. Exactly what we expected. But this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. (laughs) This belongs with you. (laughs) It belongs with all of us. What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? Yeah. There will be credits for the end scene. his lightsaber journey complete you have reached the end of your journey however the galaxy can be freely explored and there may yet be secrets left to discover new journey plus new journey plus is now available from the main menu all stances and cosmetics from previous games will be unlocked along with some new perks and lightsaber colors any skill points will also carry over to your new game uh, security grants a massive increase in weapon damage for both friends and foes, warrior placements. All right. Well, let's uh, let's save. Oh, look at how much hit points I had left. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yes. I have a pixel <laughs> left. <laughs> I almost don't want to. I don't want to heal. <laughs> but I guess I no. I'm just gonna leave it that way. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> really? Oops. <laughs> Thanks everyone for being here. Um, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. 
I will be back Friday night. Yes, it'll be Friday with Super Mario Brothers 3. The start of my, well, not the start, the continuation of my Super Mario journey. <laughs> Thanks, Oceanic. Um, if you can't be here live, go check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV. I will be happily editing that uh, final battle. That will be awesome. Um, and thank you to all these names right here. They're my subscribers. Thank you, subscribers. As always, you don't have to subscribe. Just be here. Come watch me. <laughs> hang out. <laughs> um, and if you would like to hang out, speaking of hanging out, if you'd like to hang out between streams, go check out the Discord. All right, here is our slack not our slack messages that's right slack our raid messages and let me find someone to raid yeah thanks oceanic thank you for watching the incredibly long credits with us <laughs> Yeah, I, I really can't believe you just made people turn to do that. <laughs> I always do, though. Y yeah, but, like, shit or get off the pot at some point. <laughs> you know what? Let's um, see if uh, anyone else is playing that I Survivor right now. There's no, there's no, uh, no one with the, the LGBT flag playing Star Wars. So I think we will, we'll go, I think we'll just go ahead and raid, uh, the Gigglepuss gang who is playing Helldivers. Yeah, it was good music. I agree. Um, thanks again, everyone for being here. I hope you have a great week ahead and I hope to see you back here Friday for a, com a game that's completely different than Star Wars uh, Survivor. <laughs> I wonder what the next game's going to be called too. Star Wars Jedi Your Journey to the Dark Side. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure that's the way it's going to go. I'm sure okay. there'll be a fight about it, but I'm, I don't You don't think, think that's going to be the main plot? I don't think that... I mean, it'd be kind of a downer to, you know, for it to end up with him as a, as a, as a, as a dark side user. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't think, no, I think it's going to be a, about him not ending like that. I think he's going to struggle with it and that's going to be part of oh, the story. I don't think, I don't think <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> Dream Drop Distance 2.5 Remix. I think that's going to be the name of it. All right. Thanks again, everyone. Stay safe. Love you all. Bye. Bye, everybody.